Hey guys, it's Jack from Pignose Turtles, and today I have a tutorial for you guys. I'm making this tutorial on how to make a Minecraft bucket server for the new update 1.3.2 on Mac without Hamachi. Now, I'm making this tutorial not only because I like to make tutorials and I like to help out people, is because the other day I was actually trying to make a private bucket server so that me and Ian can make time lapses on it. But I had a hard time finding a good video for Mac and the fact that most of them on YouTube are for PC. So eventually I figured it out and this one actually works. The only thing that you will require for this video is port map and I hope that's not a big deal for a lot of people. But the only reason why you're going to need port map is for your friends to join the server. I hope that's not a big deal for people and I hope this will, video will help you out a lot. So um, we're going to start off the video by going to the first link in the description. That's bucket.com. Like I said, this is a bucket server. So this is the latest version version of Craft Bucket. So you're just gonna want to download that. But before I do, I just want to say that um, this is a bucket server. So for every Minecraft update, you do not have to worry about making a complete new server because Cra Bucket will automatically update for you. You just have to give it time, which is what I learned when the in the past um, making servers. So what you want to do is download this. And it doesn't matter if you're using Safari, Firefox, or Chrome. Chrome is fast, that's why I like it. So while that's downloading, go into your desktop, make a new folder, and call it Bucket Server. Okay, so once that's finished, you're going to drag your folder, this, into your desktop. Close the window, you, will, you do not need it anymore, and then drag this inside of your folder. Open your Bucket Server folder. And delete everything in here besides craftbucket.jar and make sure there's no extra spaces. There we go. So it should look exactly like this. So now what we're going to want to do is, but before I say that, um, if you just saw that a second ago, it may have said 1.3.1. Don't worry about that because it, it already updated for the new update. So what you're going to want to do now is open text edit. Now, now, here we're going to make the start dot command, which which actually starts your server up. Without this, you'll, your server is nothing, trust me. So, there is a code that you actually have to put into text edit. So, make a new one. And make your format, make plain text. So, copy this from the description. And paste it here. Now, make sure, once again, everything here is taken out besides craftbucket.jar. Doing that anymore for later. So go to file, save, and you could either save this as server.command or start. Personally, I like start.command. And make sure you spell it uh, start.command correctly. So save that in your desktop. You can get rid of this. And drag this inside of your bucket server folder. So once that's finished, you're going to want to open up terminal. Find in your spotlight, mine's in my dock. So in terminal, you're going to have to follow my exact steps. If you do not, it'll actually completely mess up the way you make up the server. So it may not end up working. So pay attention. So what you want to do is type in CD space. Drag your folder inside the bucket server one. Press enter. Next, what you're going to want to do is type, oh wait, type in CHMOD space A plus X lowercase, make sure, space. And then drag in your start.command. Press enter. This gives your start.command permission to actually start up the server. So you don't need this anymore, so you can just close out of this. Now we're actually going to start it up. So double click start.command, open, and now your server will begin to start up. So once this happens, you should notice that a lot of things start popping up in your bucket server folder. And I'll tell you about that in a second. That just means that your server's running properly, everything's working, so completely normal. So wait till this says done. So once uh, at the bottom it says done, that means your server is completely up. Just wait till it says done. Alright, done. So the, the server is completely finished. It's up. So now what you're going to want to do is, we need to find out your IP. So what you're going to want to do is, Open up a well. That's just you can close this now. But one thing I want to say is, be, whenever you're stopping your server, don't ever close out because it when you, once you type, you have to type in stop and then enter. Cause then it'll start saving everything you've built. So if you built something really nice on your server and you just click out of it, um, nothing will have saved. 
So make sure you always click, you always type in stop, enter, and wait till it says process completed. Then you'll make sure everything is saved and the server is um, successfully shut down. If you do, if you do click out of it, not only will it not save it, but it may actually damage your server. The process is completed. Open up terminal again, and like I said, follow my exact steps. I F C O N F I G. So I F config, and then press enter. So a whole bunch of stuff would just start um, popping up. So what you want to do is go down to E N one and find INET. So this IP here, this is my IP. Um, I probably shouldn't be showing you guys this, but uh, please don't hack me. <laughs> so um, what you're gonna want to do is just copy this, and then go. Well, you can close out of this now because you don't need it anymore. Go into server dot properties. Here is everything that you can enable on your server. Like for example, if you want to have PvP on, or what difficulty or game mode you want people to have when they join the server, or even monsters spawning. So what you want to do is go to server IP and drag that in. Now one thing is that if you give this IP to your friends and they're in a different house, it will not work for them. So for multiplayer use, it will not work for them. This will only work for you. So if you're in this, if you want like maybe a sibling on another computer in the house wants to play with you on your server, and if you, if you give them that IP, it'll work because it, you're on the same landline. But it won't work for anyone else. So what you're going to want to do now is, if you since you want your friends to join the server, which I'm sure everyone wants to, you have to download Port Map. Now that's going to be another link in the description, which should be right here. So all you got to do is click that. It'll automatically download Port Map for you, and you can click out of this. It'll automatically save for you. So once Port Map is finished, just drag it into your Applications folder, and hold on. so this is Port Map. So what you're going to want to do now is, these are other servers I have at the moment. So this is the IP you're going to use for your friends so they can join the server. So you're going to want to go up to File, type, and then click on New Mapping. And make sure local port has 25565 in it. Desired public port, once you type that inside local port, it should automatically be here. Make sure protocol automatically, well, it should be clicked TCP. So make sure that's everything's over here is completely um, on, is on your screen too. So type in. So then, just click Add Mapping. Okay. So when you when you plan your server, this should automatically stay open, along with start dot command. So, like I said, this is your IP for your friends. So you give this to your friends, and they will be able to join your server. So I'll just click out of that for right now. I'll show you. Let's tell you a little bit about the stuff here. Um, I'm not very familiar with everything, but uh, ban players, ban IPs. I'm guessing what's what happens when you ban a player. You could. It, it, their name will pop up in here. Um, help if you need any help with anything. Ops if you want to op yourself. Like for example, I'm now an op on my server. Just exit out of that. So that's if you just like if you want your friends to be ops, you can op your friends as well. Permissions and plugins. That's what makes a bucket server significant because you can add plugins, which is a lot of things that are actually pretty cool. Like mod disguise is my favorite plugin. But um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to install plugins in this video because I'm not that great at installing plugins. But yeah, so you, maybe in the future. Server log, server properties, and that's another thing. You start dot command, it's kind of like a console in a sense. Not really, but a little bit. Like So you can see what people are typing in the chat even when you're not on, what they're trying to attempt to do, you know, stuff like that. Same with server log. Server properties, like I said, um, what things that you can enable on your server. Uh, whitelisting is an important thing too. Like if uh, the, if you go into server dot properties and you turn whitelisting, let's find it. Uh, where is it? True. That means that you're gonna have to go into that. Pretty much whitelisting means that if you keep it at false, it means anyone can join your server, which is not such a great thing. So if you put that to true and you go into whitelist, you have to put a name that peop of people you would actually allow on your server. So maybe your friends' um, MC names and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what whitelisting is. So you can go through all this stuff and decide what you want to do. And over here is like if this is like a little greeting message. I didn't know that, but eventually. So pig nose turtles sub us. So like I said, this is a greeting message, and I didn't even know that. 
So let me just finish this up if I accidentally spelled this wrong. So Pignos Turtle Servers sub us. This is a good example. Um, so that's pretty much it here. Actually, a, a cool thing they added to this new update is a texture pack. So you can have one texture pack. I'm not sure how to put it in, but the whole server, once you go in the server, your texture pack will automatically change to that. So that's pretty cool. So you can just close out of this. You don't have to worry about saving it, like I said. And now let's actually start up the survey to prove to you guys that it works. And I wish I had someone in the Skype call right now to um, join the server as well so they could so I could prove it to you guys that it actually works with someone else too. With the port map IP. So let's wait for this to finish up. Now note that my Minecraft will be lagging because I am recording. But what oh that was fast. So that's up. Let's open up Minecraft. <coughs> Sorry guys. But if you do have any problems, please comment. Oh, stupid dog. So, there's my server. I, I already put it in the IP earlier on. Because it, uh, yeah. And here is my server. Now everything's just about regenerating all the blocks. So it made, like I said, I am still recording. So it's... Mine a tree or something? A pig. All right, so I'm in a jungle biome. So here we are. Thanks. Sorry, guys, it's extremely laggy. But that thing that you see at the top right corner of my Minecraft screen, that is a um, map I installed. That's a mod. So um, that does not include the server, so you know. So this is our, this is the server, guys. It everything works fine. Um, when I play, when I play on it alone, usually. On my other server, it doesn't lag this much, like, so don't worry about it lagging. It doesn't lag this much because of, the only reason I'm lagging it is because it's, I'm recording. And the texture pack I'm using is SimpleCraft, if you guys are not familiar with, like, if you're wondering, like, what a kind of texture pack this is. So this is pretty much it, guys. This is how you make a Minecraft bucket server without Hamachi. I really hope it helped you guys out. If you do happen to have some problems, uh, just comment and I'll help you out as much as I can. But otherwise, if you guys could please subscribe, that would be awesome. At the moment, I am the only one running this channel because um, Ian got into a little bit of an accident. He's been resting for a little bit. So we're working on a couple of time lapses and stuff, but I'm also going to be uploading some gaming stuff. So like, if you go check out our other videos, please tell me like if you'd like to see anything. Um, like, like if you want to see any gameplays or time lapses or, um, I actually think about doing some pixel art, though. Like some ideas, like, if you want me to do some pixel art, that'd be kind of cool. But once again, please like, sub, and comment on this video. I will see you guys later.